Hello and welcome back to another lecture. In this lecture, we are going to set up CloudTrail in our account. CloudTrail is the AWS service that allows you to monitor what the users in your AWS account are doing. To set up CloudTrail, it is very easy. We are going to create a trail and the trail is going to log your user's activity into an S3 bucket. So just remember, CloudTrail is very simple. CloudTrail allows you to monitor what the users in your account are doing. To set up our trail for CloudTrail, in the search box up here, let's type CloudTrails. And select CloudTrails. On this page, click this options box right here and select Dashboard. And this is your CloudTrails dashboard. CloudTrail is enabled in your AWS account by default. And you can see it here. These are all the activities of the things I've done in this account since I've opened it. And you can see it here. I started as my root user. I logged in. I created MFA. I enabled multi-factor authentication. So pretty much everything I did in this account, you can see that CloudTrail is logging it here. It is showing me the time that I performed those actions, the user that I used to perform that action, the resource that I'm interacting with, and so on. Remember, CloudTrail is enabled in your account by default. So when CloudTrail is enabled by default, all the events that CloudTrail is recording on this dashboard that you can see here, these events are only stored up to 90 days, and you can see that information here. So it says event history shows you the last 90 days of the management event. So any event you see here that CloudTrail is logging by default, they are only stored up to 90 days. So if you want to investigate an issue that is more than 90 days, you won't be able to investigate because the default CloudTrail logs only stores it for 90 days. If you want to investigate events in your CloudTrail that last more than 90 days, you have to create a trail. To create a trail, in your CloudTrail dashboard on the left side, select Trails. And in here, we are going to click Create Trail. The first thing we are going to do is give our trail a name. And once you give your trail a name, scroll down. Remember what we said. Once we create a trail, CloudTrail will start logging our user's activity in our account to our S3 bucket. So down here under storage location, we have to specify the S3 bucket we want CloudTrail to log the activities in. I'm going to create a new bucket and down here you can enter the bucket name. I'll leave this bucket name that AWS has created for me. But if you want to create your own bucket name, just change the name down here. You can also choose an existing bucket here, but I'll create a new bucket. The next option is if you want to encrypt the log files that CloudTrail is going to put in the S3 bucket. I'm not going to enable encryption, so I won't check this. Then we are going to leave everything else as default. Scroll down, click next. On this page, under events tab, let's also check data events and inside events. So we want CloudTrail to log all these events type. Then let's scroll down. Under management events, we are also going to log API activity, read and write. Scroll down. We are also going to leave everything here as default. Scroll down. Click next. And on this page, review everything. Scroll down and click create trail. We have successfully created our trail and you can see it here. If you select your trail name, you will see more information about this trail here. And if you want to edit anything about your trail, you can click edit here to edit it. We'll go back one more. We can also see the S3 bucket that CloudTrail is putting our log files. Let's go to S3 to review that bucket. I'm going to right click here and open in a new tab. I'm going to go to that tab. In the search box, I'll type S3 and select S3 here. In my S3 service, you can see I have one bucket in there, and that is the bucket for my CloudTrail. I'll select that bucket name, and you'll see AWS logs will select that. 
and the next thing you'll see here is your account number we'll select that and the next thing you'll see is the cloud trail digest file and the cloud trail the one we want to select is the cloud trail select that on this page you will see all the regions that cloud trail is monitoring i'm going to select the us is one and the year is 2021 the month is june i'll select it and the day is the 27th i'll select it and for this day you can see all the trails that cloud trail has generated in this region if you right click to open it in a new tab you'll see more information about that trail so i'm going to close this and you can also see the structure of our trail remember we start with our bucket name the logs our account number cloud trail the region and the date so this is how you create a trail for cloud trail in your aws account thank you and i'll see you in the next lecture bye